Another letter. I need my medicine. You gonna read the letter? down the stairs. I thought maybe she would take too much laudanum. I thought she had OD'd on laudanum and died, but I guess not, because we're still going here. The store leads to the foyer, but my medicine is in here. Why would I go anywhere else? Because I'm telling you to. Dang. Oh, is she becoming transparent? Like I can kind of see through her. Oh, everything is better again. Oh, the letter fell. Where did this come from? It's a letter from Lord Fitzroy. He is a friend of Henry's, if I remember correctly. Hope this letter finds you well. Wish to offer my most profound condolences. What? Dream of holding your hand. Yes, a man can dream. Oh, to walk with you in the lushness of your beautiful conservatory. Is this a marriage proposal? Is this real or did somebody put opium tincture in my morning tea? This has to be a prank. Nobody in their right mind would dare send something like this. I must find the housemaid. Provided this isn't some lark of hers, she should know who delivered this. I recall I heard her earlier in the foyer. Can we go to the foyer now? It doesn't look like the maid is here. Oh, but the music's all weird. And it looks like there's a ghost of ourselves here. I heard voices. There's the clock. Umbrella stand. Let's check out the clock. It seems to be stopped. The hands are stuck at three o'clock. Maybe I can use that key to wind it. What key? This key. Oh, there it is. Clock key. Hmm. Newspaper. It's the issue of Paris War that featured our wedding. Everybody made such a thing out of it. Many were shocked today upon learning of the engagement of the extravagant heiress of the Beauvoisie Jewelry Empire. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Mademoiselle Valerie to Henry Winterborne, Lord Winterborne, blah, blah. A move seen as uncharacteristic for the socialite whose friendships with avant-garde artists, blah, blah, blah. Uh, declared her intention to move to the family manor in England, leaving behind a life of glamour in Paris. Ah, I see. Despite the loud rumors regarding the ruinous financial situation of the Winterborne family, the heiress insists that this is a marriage of love, and that moving to the calm of the countryside will be a welcome change for her after the frantic activities of the last four few years. Oh, I do love it here so much. Do you, though? Do you? So, like, is she depressed by, from being here and that's why she takes laudanum? Or is it because somebody's been slipping laudanum into her tea that she's gotten depressed? What's in the umbrella stand? My umbrella is here, but Henry's is missing. He must have taken it with him. All right, we can go to the main door or we can go to the conservatory can't seem to click on the crying ghost of herself though let's see if this works all right uh 
It's too tall. I cannot reach the winding hole. Three o'clock it is then. Okay. Well, let's go back and see if we can wind the bust clock. Winding key from the standing clock should fit here. Perfect, I can wind the clock now. What time shall I set? Uh, three o'clock, I guess. She said three o'clock it is. Hmm, I don't know what I was expecting. Huh, okay. Interesting. I was thinking this was a story game, but it's more than a story game. It also seems to be a puzzle game. Let's see if we can go out to the conservatory. It's chilly here. Yeah, you're walking right through the ghost of yourself. Oh, I do wish to read that article just once more. I could read this over and over. Conservatory now? No, I guess not. Oh my gosh. Alright, can we go to the main door? I'm not dressed to go outside. Oh my gosh. Alright. Can we dress to go outside then? I don't have anything to do upstairs. Oh my gosh. Such models exhibit an average delay of seven minutes when referenced against a classic long case clock. So maybe we have to set the bust clock seven minutes before three. So, 2.53. It's working again. The mechanism is ticking and the hands are moving. And is that the grandfather clock? It's working too now. Clock is working again, just like, I'm not sure now, when was that? I was here browsing the afternoon papers. Lord Sox rushed in, the clock chimed. He ran into the conservatory. What had that little rascal done? I can't remember. Oh, no matter, it'll come back to me. Now about that Lord Fitzroy. There must be somebody in this house who can tell me what's going on. All right, her crying ghost is gone too. So now can we go to the conservatory? We can, we can. Oh, look at that, it's pretty. Pond, the water looks so serene. Oh, she's kneeling by the pond. There's a little ghost of her. flower pots. Is this a ficus? I don't know much about these plants. The azaleas look lovely today. Ivy. Baby ivy will soon start climbing the wall. Oh, there's another ghost of herself there. I see something move there.
No, not quite here, but there is a rustling of leaves somewhere. So many times I have sat on the bench and just let my mind wander. Oh, she seems to be crying on the bench. I'm so lucky to have my very own Sancta Sanctorum. She's been here by the pond. She's been here on the bench. The best spot in the house. Oh. What's she doing? Enjoying the morning sun with a cup of tea is something, something I never did very often back in Paris. She has tea, she sits on the bench, she sits by the pond, she looks in the plants, she looks in the shrubbery, she looks in the bushes. Oh, she's looking. Do I see something move there? There's a rustling of leaves. Yeah, she was kind of looking off in this direction, so we'll go to the shrubbery. And now she's looking off to the right and running that way over there. Stirring in the leaves. A clinking sound of porcelain, okay. So we'll go to the tea table. streaks. Or maybe she washes her hands in the pond. Knuckles white like snow. Hands so cold. Yeah, maybe that's what she's doing in the pond. Washing her hands. Oh dear, no. The water is no longer screaming. And where is this sadness coming from? Um, doesn't she cry when she's sitting on the bench? Maybe. Maybe we click that next. It is stronger here. What is this sorrow? Why do I feel this way? This place is always so soothing to me. But those sensations, they were so vivid and unsettling. And the water. I could have sworn I felt... Wait, what is that? It seems there is something at the bottom of the pond. But I am not reaching into that filthy water with my bare hands. Well, you were just washing the blood off your hands in that pond, weren't you? I need to find something to help me drag it out. Oh, well, probably the umbrellas you've got in here. This should work. Okay. Pull her cat. Oh my god, what was that? My lord, my dear lord. 
What happened to you? Who did... Is it the cat? Oh, that's terrible. Did nobody see anything? Where is everybody? Help, I must find help. Lord Socks, it is the cat. Oh. Oh, that screwed up. Help, I must find help. Yeah, where are we going to get some help? Run outside? There has to be somebody here. There has to be. Oh no, there's a ghost of herself on the ground reading the newspaper. Hello, can anybody hear me? Can we look at the newspaper? I don't understand. I left this on the table. Am I going mad? But this is not the Paris Soir. It's the London Evening Standard. Many were shocked today upon learning of the passing of Henry Winterbourne, Lord Winterbourne of Chetham Green, in a tragic automobile accident. Well, yeah, that's why that Fitzroy dude keeps asking you to marry him. Is that why she's depressed and taking laudanum? As the car in which he was riding rolled up toward the driveway of the Winterbourne Manor, the family cat, which had been missing for days, dashed on the road in front of the vehicle. The chauffeur gave the driving wheel a sharp turn. Oh my gosh. So he died because the chauffeur didn't want to run over the cat? Why is the cat in the pond then? He's here. He's, he's upstairs. I was waiting for him to come home. He's never arrived because he was here the whole time. How silly of me. That's it. He must be in his study. He'll know what to do. He's in his study. He's upstairs. He'll know. I need to see him. I need to see him now. Oh no, everything's going dark again. We can't go outside? No, there's no way to go out. Oh. Oh, look. Oh. The darkness is creeping into our sunny life. Music's getting bad like a broken carousel. And the rain's coming back. Can we go in the study now? Henry, are you there? Henry? Henry? What have they done to you? Oh no, look at Now she's all faded and her hair's down and all of that. Why did they hide you from me? I've missed you so much, my love. I've been away for a while, but I'm here now. Oh, that's just his painting. Henry, I did something terrible. It wasn't his fault. He didn't deserve it. But it hurt so much when you left. Did she drown her cat? I had such dreams. Such terrible dreams. But I've found you now. I'm never going to let them take you away from me again. I just need one more sip of my medicine. And then I'll come back for you and take you home. We're going to Paris, my love. I'll be right back. Is there anything else I can interact with in there? I don't think so. Just the portrait. Oh, and now we're back to the cracked glass and the vase fragments. Oh, the, the paintings have fallen. Statues are uncovered. Oh, it's a pan statue now. I thought this one was Apollo before. I'm 
this one, yeah, these are different statues now. Oh my gosh. Can we go to the parlor? Have things changed in the parlor too? Sorry, I'm sorry for everything. You inbred bastard. Oh my gosh. Oh dang, what's that? Envelope. Another one of those awful letters. No, it's an invitation to a masked ball. How delightful. Did Henry send this? Will he be there? Oh, I hope so. What a surprise that would be. This must be my mask then. It's so beautiful. Oh, look, she overdosed. Yeah, she did overdose. And then the sun comes out. Oh my gosh. And I was expecting Henry to meet me here, yet I can't seem to find him. Achievement unlocked. A slow vanishing. But he must be here. Who else could have sent that invitation? Interesting. I have been asking myself the same question. I'm sorry, and you are? Apologies. My name is Jordan Samuels. I am a doctor. Your conversation caught my attention because I, too, cannot recall boarding this train or even waiting at any station. Given the weather outside, I reckon I must have surely brought a coat with me, yet there seems to be no cloakroom anywhere. I have attempted to bring this up with some of the other guests, but unlike you, they do not seem to be bothered by it. I cannot explain it, but I feel like I... we should not be here. What do you mean by that, Doctor? Where else do you reckon you should be? I'm not sure you would even believe me if I told you, ma'am. Oh, don't you worry about that, dear, if you only knew how much these old eyes have seen. I doubt anything could surprise me at this point. Please, sir, I think we all wish to hear what you have to say. Oh, I for one most definitely do. Very well, I guess I should start at the beginning then. I had been working late into the night. 